Welcome to Managing Asia's Sustainable Future. I'm Christine Tan. In this episode, I speak to Kevin Tan, CEO of Philippine Conglomerate Alliance Global, to find out how the company is planning to meet its target of becoming carbon neutral by 2035. <laughs> Alliance Global may be based in the Philippines, but the holding company is truly an international powerhouse. Its wide-ranging portfolio of businesses include real estate development, hospitality and food and beverages, including the world's largest brandy maker, Emperador Distillers. The family-run business was founded by billionaire Andrew Tan in 1993, but today it's helmed by his son, Kevin Tan. As CEO, he is leading the charge to implement green solutions across the businesses to meet its sustainability goals. Kevin, thank you so much for talking to me. Your father, who founded a company, said that sustainability is all about longevity, not just in business, but in all aspects of life. What was the main motivation behind your family's push towards sustainability? Uh, you know, the Philippines, every year we experience several calamities uh, ranging from simple tropical depressions to typhoons to even prolonged uh, uh, droughts and dry spells. So we are also seeing, you know, uh, concerns on population growth. Um, and what this does is it poses several challenges. Uh, among them is really this unequal um, distribution of um, economic uh, uh, opportunities and economic prosperity. And so with these challenges at hand, we took it upon ourselves to we decided we wanted to be, you know, better corporate uh, citizens. Um, and we embarked on basically a journey where we created uh, what we call a concept called sustain agility. And we set about to come up with two really bold targets. Now, the two targets, the two main targets is we, first off, want to be carbon neutral by 2035. And we also want to help create uh, both direct and indirect jobs, a total of 5 million direct and indirect jobs, also by 2035. Um, you know, this is a, a, you know, a pretty lofty goals, but I think it's something that we are all committed to be to, to do in the next 15 years. Let's talk about your goal to be carbon neutral by 2035. Initially, it was set for 2030. Uh, there was a delay because of the pandemic. Do you think you'll, you'll be able to meet this new target now? We created these targets at the best of times. But then the COVID just hit us just like that. We didn't know magnitude of such an occurrence. Uh, nothing could have prepared us for this. I have to admit, yes, of course, we had to step back a bit because we were on survivor mode for the be for the most part of last year and even until today. Um, we've had to recalibrate our entire business model. So, you know, sustainability goals, they're very important to us. And that's why we gave ourselves an additional five more years to achieve this. But it's not to say that we're not doing a lot of effort today. Your liquor business, Emperador, is now the world's biggest brandy producer. Uh, how much have you invested in technology to try to drive down carbon emissions there and save water in, in your vineyards and your distilleries? Uh, first here locally, which is still the bulk of our operations, in our distillery, we produce uh, this organic biogas. And we extract this biogas and we use it actually as fuel for our boilers. The boilers produce steam and the steam actually turns these turbines, which actually gives us, again, um, electricity. So the electricity that we produce from this actually um, is enough to fire up about 30% of our electricity requirement for the entire distillery operations. Uh, for our operations in Spain, we have close to 2,000 hectares of vineyard uh, property there. We've invested in a technology called deficit irrigation. 
now we're able to identify which area we will we should just be irrigating and so we're able to save a lot of water from the rivers uh, in the process how challenging has it been for your family to push sustainability and make money at the same time i, I profitability is obviously still very important obviously and um if you're not profitable and we're not growing, we don't have the resources to, to embark on any of these sustainability goals. So that's a very important result for us as well, uh, the, the main bottom line. But we, when we look at things now, we look at things as not just having a singular bottom line, but having a triple bottom line. And that now includes, of course, environmental sustainability, as well as our social um, impact. Uh, at the end of the day, our customers are the, the very young demographics of the Philippines. Our customers expect us to have a positive social impact and be uh, also environmentally sustainable. And finally, as the second generation heading Alliance Global, what leadership will you continue to provide to drive a sustainable future for the family business in the Philippines? Well, you know, I think operating in the Philippines uh, especially with COVID, we're given a tremendous opportunity to contribute really to uh, nation building. Um, I, I think that uh, leadership uh, during these times uh, require a lot of empathy. Um, you know, emphatic leadership that is, um, you know, nationalistic, that has a strong sense of responsibility and a strong sense of accountability is very, very important in today's world. Our vision now for the entire group is really, you know, we are here to uplift lives, uh, impact society, and, and help shape a better nation. Um, and I think there's no better time to really embark on these goals than today. And that was Kevin Tan, CEO of Alliance Global, speaking to us from the Philippines. Hope you've enjoyed our Managing Asia Sustainable Future series. I'm Christine Tan. Thanks for watching. Managing Asia. Sustainable Future. Brought to you by UOB.